Welcome all to this video lecture. I am John Milton, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Microbiology. In this video lecture, we will uh, discuss about the method of gene gene transfer, that is gene gun. So the gene gun. That is the most effective method of gene transfer and create for the creation of the transgenic plant. The transgenic plants are nothing but the plant which is created by modifying their genome to get the desired properties. So it is a new plant with the desired properties just by modification of its genome for the favor of welfare of the human being. So the it is also called as micro projectile bombardment, and this method is initially named as biolistics by the discoverer of this technique, John Janford, in the year of 1888. The other name for this technique are particle gun, gene gun, bio blaster, particle bombardment, or micro projectile bombardment. So there are so many different names are given. For this technique, so the DNA or RNA to be transferred or added to the biologically inert particles such as metal atoms like tungsten or gold or sometimes platinum can be used. So this is called as micro carrier. So then, the micro carriers are allowed to bind with the macro carrier. So this is the protocol or procedure of this uh, technique. So these macro carriers are inserted into the apparatus and pushed downward by rupturing the disc. So the stopping plate does not permit the movement of micro uh, macro carrier, while the micro carriers usually can move and uh, enter the plant material. So, so here uh, the picture shows uh, the apparatus of a gene gun. So the gas acceleration tips uh, through which uh, the gas will be passed. Usually, the helium gas is a positive with uh, high pressure with high velocity so that will uh, rupture the rupture disc uh, so after that that will push the uh, macro carrier along with the micro uh, carrier uh, towards the stopping screen so in the uh, stopping screen the macro carrier uh, will be stopped uh, will not permitted to uh, pass through the stopping screen whereas the micro carrier which is already uh, produced by coating uh, with uh, metals uh, with the gene of interest so that will pass and enter the target plant cell that is uh, kept in a uh, apparatus or in a, a tree or any anything so the dna segments which is released so after the entry of the uh, plant cells and uh, the genes of interest which is already inserted uh, will integrated with the genome of the plant cells uh, after that uh, that will express and produce the product so the cells that take up the desired dna uh, can be selected, uh, can be screened uh, uh, through the marker gene. Usually, the marker gene uh, will be attached with uh, uh, gene, a gene of interest in the micro carrier. Usually, the marker gene uh, for the plant uh, cell identification is uh, conomycin resistant. So, the gene transfer in particle bombardment has uh, two stages. The first stage is the pre integration phase in which the vector DNA molecules are uh, spliced together. The second stage is in integrative phase in which the foreign DNA is uh, getting integrated uh, with the host plant uh, chrom chromosome genome. The gene gun technique has been uh, successfully used for various uh, kind of transgenic plant with uh, desired properties, especially many for many cereals like rice, wheat, maize, sorghum, and other plant beneficial plant like uh, cotton, grape banana, tobacco, sweet potato and peanut. There are so many plant varieties are created as successfully with the method of gene transfer or gene gun. So the first commercially genetically modified crops that is maize, Bt maize is uh, produced by this method by following this type of a gene transfer. So what are the factors which are affecting the bombardment, particle bombardment? So the first factor which affect the process of uh, gene gun is the nature of micro particles. So the inert materials uh, such as tungsten, gold, platinum are usually used for making the micro carrier. Uh, there are 
they are uh, carry the dna of in, uh, of interest uh, so these particle with re relatively high mass uh, will have the better chance to move fast when uh, when we push the particles uh, using the gases so suppose if the metals are having a less mass uh, they will uh, uh, move very slowly and uh, they, there is a possibilities of not entering the micro carrier inside the plant cells or not so that's why we are uh, using uh, the metals uh, should uh, with higher mass so always we should use the metal with higher mass for uh, making the micro carrier that is one of the important uh, uh, factors the nature of tissue and cells the target the target cells that are uh, capable of undergoing uh, division are uh, suitable for the transformation so the cells the plant cells which are taken for the study should be in the condition of undergoing the division cell division otherwise the probability of uh, getting entry of the gene of interest and integration of the gene of interest is uh, very less the amount of dna that is the next factor the transformation may be low when too little dna is used on the other hand too much dna may result in high copy number and rearrangement of the transients so the dna to be taken for making the micro carrier should be enough quantity that should not be too much as well as too low if uh, too low uh, dna are, are taken for making the micro carrier uh, there is a possibility as of not entering the dna inside the plant cells if you take more amount of the dna there is a possibility of entering uh, the dna into the genome of the plant cell in more than one places uh, that is a repetition may be there rearrangement of the transients may be there so there is always uh, we should use the moderate or balanced dna for making the micro carrier the next factor is uh, environmental parameters the factors like temperature <coughs> humidity and photo period uh, uh, influence the physiology of the plant materials so after bombardment uh, some conditions should be maintained uh, the enough light uh, must be given uh, uh, to make the plant cells viable as well as uh, humidity enough humidity temperature uh, so the optimum conditions uh, for that uh, particular uh, plant cells must be given uh, then only the process uh, will be efficient one so what are the advantages of the particle bombardment the gene transfer can be efficiently done in organized tissues the process will be efficient the different species of plant can be used to develop transgenic plants so there are there is no restriction or sometimes uh, restriction may be there but uh, anyway we can uh, transfer the gene of interest uh, through this method uh, for various kind of uh, plant species <coughs> so it also having some disadvantages also so the major complication or major disadvantage of this method is production of the high <coughs> high transgene copy number okay there is already i told that uh, sometimes uh, the uh, gene which we uh, sent which we transfer into the plant cells may incorporate with the genome of the chromosome in more than one places repetitions may be there uh, duplications may be there so that is one disadvantages the target uh, the target tissue may after uh, get uh, damaged uh, due to lack of uh, control of the bombardment velocities suppose if you uh, if we if you fail to control the velocity that is the speed of the mi micro carrier that may harms the cell plant cells plant tissue it may happen sometimes if you are not maintaining the proper velocity of the micro carrier sometimes undesirable chimeric plants may be regenerated so the plants with uh, unexpected uh, unexpected properties or undesirable properties may be developed sometimes uh, through this method so these are the disadvantages of the gene gun so thank you for listening